Hello, and welcome back to this step-by-step -step tutorial. Today you'll learn how to integrate the GPT language model and Google Sheets with AnnaGAN, a source available workflow automation tool. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create two simple yet useful automations. The first one will qualify leads. Whenever a potential customer fills Google Forms, AnnaGAN will take the new submission, qualify it according to your rules and update the Google Sheet document. The best part is that you can define rules and instructions in plain English or another language. No need to program. The second workflow demonstrates a few advanced AnnaGAN features for summarizing feedback forms. It takes all submissions of the feedback form and generates a brief report that you can send via email. This report can contain a summary of user sentiment and most important points, be it positive feedback or a suggestion for improvement. You'll find the links to the templates for this tutorial in the description below the video. You'll need a couple of additional things to complete this tutorial. A Google Cloud Platform project. An OpenAI API key. In just a few seconds you'll see how to set this up. Let's get started. Before diving into workflow automations with AnnaGAN, the first thing you'll need to do is to sign up. You have two options. The AnnaGAN Cloud Service which allows you to get started quickly with a free trial and no setup required, or you can choose to self-host it. By self-hosting, you'll have to go through a setup process, but it's free to use forever and offers complete privacy for your workflows. With your account ready, it's time to open a workflow template. AnnaGAN has a variety of pre-made workflows to get you started. Just log into your account, click on the templates button, browse through the template gallery, and pick the one that aligns with what you want to achieve. These templates are great time savers and can be easily tailored to fit your needs. Once you've found the perfect template, click on the Use Template button and copy the template to clipboard. Paste the template onto the canvas. Now, as you've created your AnnaGAN account, let's integrate Google Sheets with GPT from scratch. First, open AnnaGAN in your web browser and add a new workflow. Select a Google Sheets trigger. Create new credentials. If you've never created OAuth 2 credentials for Google before, go to the Open Docs link and follow the instructions. Create a new Google Cloud Platform project. Configure an OAuth consent screen once for the new project. Add new credentials. Next, register the OAuth redirect URL from AnnaCan in Google Cloud. Take the client ID and a client secret. Paste these into the corresponding AnnaCan fields. Now, sign in with Google, grant access and press continue. All set to load the data. It's time to create a new Google form with several questions. You can take the question names from the workflow page. Make sure that the Google Form answers are saved in a separate spreadsheet. Click on the View and Sheets button. Add a new variable called Rating. This variable will store the lead qualification result from GPT. Now, let's test this first data source. Make a few form submissions. Come back to Ann Inc. Ann. Select the new sheet document from the drop-down list and configure the node as shown on the screen. Click the Fetch Test Event button. Great! Your data source is now ready. Let's now connect an OpenAI node. Create new credentials on the settings screen. You'll need to add a secret key from your OpenAI account. You can then adjust model parameters via the node options. Take a look at the system and user messages. In the system message, we explain the general instructions for lead qualification. You can also add a few examples manually to improve the GPT response and make it more consistent. 
and the user message provide data for a new single submission. Exit the OpenAI node settings screen and make a few test runs. Update the instructions if the GPT model doesn't match your expectations. Pin the node data during testing. Add a new set node to parse the JSON reply from the OpenAI node. Next, add a merge node to combine original records with the lead qualification ratings. Finally, add another Google Sheets node to save the qualification results. Pick the right credentials and configure as shown on the screen. We are going to save only the qualification results, but you can also add an additional variable to store the detailed explanation. Save the workflow and click the Test Workflow button. An AKN will fetch new form submissions and send them one by one into the OpenAI node. Qualification results are saved back into the Google Sheets after a few seconds. Remember to activate the workflow so that it runs automatically. Congratulations! You've completed the first part of the tutorial. Before we go any further, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for all future videos. We release new content regularly, so stay tuned. Now, let's move on to the second workflow example. Imagine you are hosting a series of events and want to understand strong sides and opportunities for improvement. Create a new Google form for collecting event feedback. Add a few relevant questions to the form. As before, make sure that Google Form answers are saved in a separate spreadsheet. Now, let's create a second AnyCan workflow. Provide a new name for the second workflow. Pick a manual trigger and add a Google Sheets node. In the node settings, pick the new sheet document and the Sheet tab from the drop-down list. Run this node. The goal of this workflow is to summarize the feedback from multiple users. That's why you need to send the array with all user replies. AnyAn allows you to work with arrays in several ways. Starting from version 1.21, AnyCan introduced several new data transformation nodes. Let's add an aggregate node. In the settings screen, add several fields to aggregate user replies. Press the test step button. As you can see, instead of three incoming items, there is only one. Each field now contains an array of user replies. Now add the OpenAI node and provide the system message with the instructions. Add a user message with feedback replies. Please note that we are passing an array of answers and separate each answer with the pipe character. Close the settings window and test the workflow. Now add the markdown node. It converts the report into an HTML code which you can deliver via email. Note that we do not create a standalone HTML page in this workflow. Finally, add a Gmail node. Configure to send a new message as shown on the screen. Save and run the workflow. In a few seconds, your HTML report is ready. Congratulations! 
you've successfully created two workflows that integrate Google Sheets with OpenAI's GPT language model. The first workflow analyzes each form submission and saves the lead qualification in Google Sheets. The second workflow shows how to create a summary report from the Google Sheets document in one go. The best part is that we haven't programmed anything. All instructions to the GPT-4 model were done in plain English. These are just two workflow examples, but you can create many other use cases for Google Sheets and GPT. Anytan is absolutely a great tool for complex workflows, so be sure to check out the links in the description below. See you next time.